guys welcome to copern tree analysis 101 i'm kate thank you so much for subscribing thank you for joining me and if you haven't subscribed yet please do and don't forget to hit the bell button so you know when i upload more videos all right guys we're going to talk about copern tree narcissist and explaining to the kids the ever-changing uh narcissist narcissist uh new supply so the ever-revolving door of supplies partners and you in the narcissist life you know and the children your children that you're co-parenting you know so this is going to be kind of a little uh, very confusing for kids especially if they see um and a supply for a few months or a year and then there's another supply and then there's another supply you know and uh, uh, unfortunately there might be some kind of attachment they build with this uh new supplies you know that's the unfortunate part of it with them so then every now and then they are forced to switch to start getting the readjusting to another person and then they have to switch again to readjust another person or even they might have the you know the new supplies there and then the the narcissist you know they have to have like four five six uh things going on in the harem so they might all be the kids might actually be exposed to all these people plus the main supply you know so they might be exposed to the b c and d supplies and this is going to be of course for a child it's going to be a, a bit confusing because they, they understood that you are you know this is your girlfriend or this is your wife or this is your boyfriend you know and then then this other person over these other people uh, who are they you know so that's the unfortunate part of it is that our kids get exposed to all this uh people there's nothing wrong with dating of course you know it's just that but the, the narcissist doesn't really particularly care beyond themselves about what the you know the the impact on the children most people might date some people they don't, take, they don't even let them meet their kids until they are you know very serious in the relationship of course when it comes to narcissists the only thing that matters to the narcissist is the narcissist so they're not they don't really care about the anybody's feelings not much less their children's feelings so that doesn't is it doesn't come into consideration when they have these revolving doors of strangers going back and forth you know I guess the only thing that we can um, uh, tell the kids here, uh, I, because they, um, sh they will ask, uh, now there's this person, there's that person, is if there's a way to encourage the kid not to have uh, uh, any sort of uh, um, too much attachment to it. And that could come like, let's say, the um, uh, not referring to them as a, a mom or dad or something like that in, in my own case i think the new supply behind me wanted the kids to call them i think I mentioned this in my one of my videos called to call her mom which my kids didn't want to you know do that you know so if they don't you know have that kind of attachment where there's mom and then the, uh, every year then there's another mom and there's three years and another dad you know you know if they could have like a a, a, a distant um some kind of distance between you know my kids decided to call auntie and and it might be it might be auntie or uncle or something is easier to me anyway than to have every year there's a mom there's a dad there's a mom there's a dad you know because the narcissist will always have this um it always will happen you know they always have the revolving doors going on you know so that's another way this is not encourage the kids to you know have that separation by giving them um calling them by certain things instead of uh mom or dad because it, it doesn't last you know it, 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 mom or dad will be switched up in a, in, in a few months or the maximum a year year and a half and then there's another mom and dad you know so if they could have that you know have encouraged that where they call them a certain you know they refer to them as by certain a uh, name or their name or uh, uh, a different title besides mom and dad that will ensure that there isn't that much you know at least the probability of having that much at attachment or explaining the whole mom one two and three or dad one two and three you know at the minimum you know another thing too is to uh, uh explain it tell the you know explain the kids that um some people can't they don't know how to be alone they can't um be by themselves they need to have somebody in their lives because a kid looking at all these people coming back and forth maybe they see the parent never alone never really alone like there's always switching around like they switch this person leaves to this morning and that person's back then in the afternoon you know 
that could be only way to explain this to a child is uh, um, some people don't know how to be by themselves. They can't be by themselves. They have to have somebody that they're, they're, they're dating. They have to have somebody that they, they have to have a boyfriend. They have to have a girlfriend or they have to have a new husband or a new wife, you know. So there's some people can't be alone. That's why you have your mom have these people coming in and out or these people they, they're dating different uh uncles or whatever because she cannot be but she needs to have uh somebody that she's dating or if a uh, um a, a, a guy she, it, she has to go have a girlfriend all the time she needs to he needs to have somebody that they're dating i think that's the only way you can actually explain this to the kids where uh without going into all the details you know is that just some people just can't seem to be by themselves they can they can they have to have somebody that they're dating at all times and that is what is wrong with your mom and that is what your dad is doing that's why there, there are so many people changing all the time so and this kind of prepares the kids you know when they don't see their uncle b or c on tuesday or thursday they know that an uncle d shows up they can understand why it's because mom needs to have somebody there that's why uh uncle d uh, whatever or e or f is now here you know because that's why it kind of help them i guess uh in a way not to be to be less confused if you will to be less confused in trying to figure out oh why is this person here now you know <laughs> so you know what where is the other person so if they kind of understand it that way it is a confusion so when all these new people show up that's what is going on and then they know not to be attached by either calling them their name or referring to them as auntie or uncle whatever reducing the probability of them you know being attached i'm not saying it's not it might it might still happen if, if those people were good people or something i guess you know it might it might happen but it reduces the probability of that actually happen because in their mind they already know that this person might be gone by next week and then the next person will come in, you know, it calls down the confusion at least a little bit, you know, it's what I'm trying to say for the kids, you know, I think that's the only best, the best way I figured you can explain this without really breaking down and talking about supplies and, you know, the need to have supplies for self-validation and all that. I mean, validation from somebody else because these people can't give it to themselves. They need to have somebody there to prop them up, you know, without going into all of that, you know, especially at the young age, that's the best I could think they will the best explanation if you will that you know they just some people can just they, they can't just be alone they can't be by themselves so they have to have somebody that they are dating all right guys so you like guys let me know what you think like share subscribe comment of course get your mind together get your mind right and everything else will fall into place i will see you in the next video